Hello everyone and I hope you all are doing well. Welcome to another fan to play fantasy match preview. We are doing this for the game between Delhi and Gujarat. Obviously a super important game for both teams so let's get straight into it by making our team. First up we start with the keeping section. While the obvious choice for this one might be Ridhiman Saha, I'm a little more inclined to go towards Sarfraz Khan and I'll tell you why. So first up Saha should be facing the Delhi Pacers, you see Khalil and you'll have Anrik Nokia coming in for this game which might cause difficulties while we know that the Delhi middle order is weak against facing spin especially Rashid and that would mean that Sarfraz can play a big role and that's my first punt pick right there for you in Sarfraz Khan now before we get to the other sections of this preview and I know all of you love the team so hence I started with that but understanding the pitch conditions is equally important so let's get to that so pitch conditions for this game and like you can see the boundary dimensions pretty short on one side 50 and 60 meters we see a decent amount of sixes being hit here and spinners while are generally economical do have their set of troubles here and hence pacers generally end up taking more wickets as far as the average in terms of wickets are concerned you can see the pitch is generally good for batting and it's known to be a chasing ground so there's no doubt as far as that is concerned now let's start picking up the batters based on this analysis so in the batting section, I'm going for Shubman Gill, who will be in everyone's team probably. And Prithvi Shaw, who I think should have a good season here. Prithvi Shaw might have a set of troubles against the likes of Shami, who he has been dismissed by multiple times. But I think on this kind of pitch that is so good for batting, he should be able to do well. Shubman also has similar troubles against Khalil, but will be interesting to see how it goes about. You have some other good batting options to pick here in Miller and Warner, but I'll come back to this after picking the all-rounders. So my all-rounders here will be Akshar Patel, who should be able to do well even with the bat in these conditions. Hardik Pandya, who again play, comes into a similar category as far as batting and bowling is concerned. So you get all-round value. And here you have Mitchell Marsh who didn't bowl in the last game. So you're picking him as a pure batter. And hence I'll give priority to my other bowlers before I come to my pure batters and pure all and the other all-rounders. So Rashid Khan obviously will be in your team. Delhi have this set of troubles against Rashid in the past. So it will be interesting to see how that goes. Mohamed Shami has a good record against Shaw up top. While Warner has had his dominance over Shami, he has dismissed him a few times there. In your other choices here, I think Joshua Little is more of a gut feel pick. But I think against Delhi, in the middle order, if he's bowling first, he can wreak some havoc. If he's bowling second, then I'm unlikely to pick him. But one guaranteed pick in both scenarios will be Anrik Nokia. So this is the team set up till now. These are eight players who will probably be in my team in irrespective of whichever scenario, whether they're batting first, bowling first, etc. Now, because we've seen that this pitch is generally better for batting I'm a little bit inclined to go with David Warner as that pick there keep in mind David Warner has matchups against left arm pace you've seen Trent Bolt also trouble him which means that Joshua Little will be used quite majorly against him so let's see how that goes for him and that will largely decide things from the fantasy scenario also for us so if you think that there's some moment up front then in that case you can probably opt for Little and leave Warner but for now I'm keeping Warner and Mitchell Marsh with these kind of ground dimensions is obviously very very difficult to leave. So those are our 10 lock choices here. Now your last pick will probably be Khalil if Delhi is bowling first while you can go for one of Little or Alzari if Gujarat is bowling first. So that is the combination for now and the last pick I'm going for Little currently. Let's see based on the toss who we pick in that last slot. Alzari is also quite a good choice. Captaincy and vice captaincy picks are Hardik Pandya and Akshar Patel with the kind of value they give you in all round terms. I don't think there's too much for you to debate on in that part. And this is what the final team looks like. Who are your other Grand League picks? Let's just quickly look at that part too. Rizman Sa is not a Grand League pick. If you're picking him, then it has to be in your base team as he's a high pick for this game. Apart from that, Sai Sudarshan looked good in the last game. And square boundaries are shorter, which means that he can take advantage of that specific factor. David Miller will come in for this game. And again, with these dimensions, if it's flat out for batting, there's a good chance that I leave out an extra bowler and take him. Rovman Paul, will. you will observe that when Rashid Khan comes on, he will have a set of problems. And hence, I've currently not opted for him. Then when you look at the all-round section here, Rahul Tevatia, but again, he's not been bowling much, so I'm not too inclined to move towards him. Same for Vijay Shankar, who's only been playing as batter. And in the bowling section, the choices are quite obvious. You have quite a few actually in Chetan Sakaria, Alzari, Joseph, Khalil, Ahmad, Josh Little, who's also in consideration for me in the small leagues team. Kuldeep Yadav, if he's bowling second, you can try him. 
because then there will be pressure to attack him but otherwise we know that spinners on this ground are generally economical but don't end up taking that many wickets Mukesh Kumar if he's bowling first you can try him out in your grand league teams now let's get to the exchange 22 picks for this game over to the exchange 22 picks for this game and we we'll look at Delhi and Gujarat both sides so from the Delhi side of things Akshar Patel at 40 is very well priced I think batting first and bowling second he'll give you very good value Rovman Powell at 28 if he's batting first is very good value and Prithvi Shaw during the chase because we we know this ground is good for batters to chase on Chetan Sakarya if polling first and Delhi have five options then in that scenario same for Khalil then we look at the Gujarat side of things and here you have Joshua Little who at 25 is immense value especially if they are playing just five bowlers Rashid Khan is bowling second at 38 as then he is going to be likely to bat a bit too hence he becomes a good choice and apart from that you have another set of options to look at that is Hardik Pandya but at 54 he becomes steeply priced hence I'm only opting for these picks for now and now let's look at the Rario picks for this one over to the radio picks for this game Delhi versus Gujarat it is now let's look at what options we have here also keep in mind that you'll get a rupees 1600 sign up bonus exclusively with my link which is in the description and here you can see the choices that you have now keep in mind that 7900 teams have joined but there are prizes to be won right up to the 21,000 rank there's a good chance that you even get better prizes and keep in mind that you just invest once then you can use these cards throughout the season and like you can see on the app to make your life one step easier what they have done is you will be able to buy packs only for the specific game so rather than being confused about which packs or which games packs to buy here you can see a Delhi and Gujarat combined pack for $9 which you will get like you can see here for four and a half dollars after signing up with the link in the description and keep in mind you can use these cards for all Delhi and Gujarat matches that happen ahead so it's not like the cards expire after one game no they don't you can keep using them throughout the season and even in international matches ahead so don't miss out on this chance and let's also look at what cards I have and what are the picks that you can make now that we are already on this discussion so like you can see I've joined all four types of contests and here currently I have Rashid Khan as my captain because of his good record against Delhi and Rick Nokia who should be impactful in both innings and Akshar Patel so you know I'm part of bowlers and all-rounders FC and hence my picks are made accordingly and you can see guaranteed rewards here like I had said 1400 rank tuck there are prizes but currently only 594 teams have joined and I can guarantee that it's not going to fill up by the time the deadline begin, uh, ends so good chance for you to capitalize and make full use of this last but not the least the FCP investment leaderboard is also live on fan to play ensure that you download the app the link is in the 200% bonus on your first deposit exclusively on fan to play so don't miss out on this chance especially if you are a new user and I'll see you all very soon for the next preview thank you so much for tuning in ensure you hit the like button and the prediction for today is how many runs will Hardik Pandya score ensure you comment and let me know and see you all very soon for the next one